next on Beyond the Metal. We head out to Victoria with Great Pacific Adventures to look for whales off the coast of Vancouver Island. Well, this morning we've been listening to some whales on a hydrophone that's located up uh, off the coast of San Juan Island, up in this area right around the Canadian-U.S. border. Uh, they're transient, so their their uh, movements are fairly unpredictable. Well, I think we are ready. We'll head I'm out psyched. And see Let's some go. whales. Let's I'm excited. Let's do it. Whale watching right is on. on. It's raining, we gotta hurry up and suit up Jess so we can um I'm gonna go whale watching. I know. Not for these shenanigans. This is gonna make me feel like a Michelin man. <laughs> I was thinking more like the kid from the Christmas story. Yeah. It's like I can't right. move. Help me. Help, you. Help me hold this. <laughs> I think we're zipped up, suited up. I'm almost, in there? Almost ready. <laughs> I'm getting suited up, Lila. We're going to take Andrew and see what we can see. Hopefully we see some whales. Jesse, go ahead and get him first so you can help me. I'm helping you in? Yeah. All right. Ready. I have to renegotiate my contract. Nobody told me I was going to have to work in these conditions. <laughs> the weather isn't exactly perfect, but we're hoping a little rain won't keep the whales from making an appearance. We're learning that these waters are home to three groups of resident whales, commonly known as pods of orca or killer whales. Pods are groups of families and individual whales that live and thrive mainly on salmon and other species of fish found in the waters of the Pacific Northwest. We got the name killer whales in the very early days of sailing the oceans when they were seen by early sailors eating other whales, attacking and killing and eating other whales. So they called them whale killers or killers of whales. And through time and translation, that ended up being killer whales and, uh, and stuck. So they'll like, they're actually not a true whale. They're actually the largest member of the dolphin family. Yeah. They'll, so they attack like humpbacks and stuff like that. The residents that I was discussing are, are fish eaters primarily. So, but the transients are uh, mammal eaters. They're the ones that got the name killer whales. Most whales have a unique characteristic that sets them apart from the others. Like what? Uh, shape of their dorsal fin primarily. What we are seeing is amazing. These whales are huge. We're turning around to, to kind of get a better angle, but they're definitely out there, and it's almost as if they're putting on a show for us. I mean, Jesse, we've seen not just the fin, but their whole bodies have come out. I'm in awe. I mean, it's like they're almost swimming in circles. They're diving, like Look playing with one another. There's got to be five to ten of them right here of all sizes, all ages. It's, it's, it's really, jaw-dropping. Yeah, it's amazing to see like nature like this. This is not something you get to do every day, but out here um, we just came off the coast of Victoria. It's absolutely beautiful. They're everywhere. They're waving at us. They totally are. They want to come back and watch the, the Winter Games with us. They we a, told them that's where we were heading back to, and they, that's where they want to go. They got a full-on sushi menu right below us here, and we're sitting here <laughs> taking photos of them eating. Yeah, they're definitely... Oh, look at that wow. guy. Uh, this is a hollow site for uh, harbor seals, and you can see a few of them on the rocks over here, kind of white and gray. And we have a fairly large population of harbor seals in this area, and they're a favorite food source of the transient killer whales that we were just viewing a few minutes ago. Sea lions actually walk on all fours, unlike seals that, that uh, don't have the ability to walk on their fins. They just kind of bounce along on their belly. Sea lions, you can see them sitting up, and they, they stand up on their front fins, very large front fins that they use for swimming, and then they turn their back ones up underneath them and they actually can climb and walk on all fours and they can move very quick, surprisingly quick. Yeah. They can climb right up onto the top of these tallest rocks. Uh, sometimes you see them diving off the rocks over there, but they're, they're quite agile, surprisingly agile. Jesse, what did you think of the, uh, the enormous whales we saw today? I'll tell you what, Free Willy and his orca buddies off the chain, experience of a lifetime. Totally. Any chance you get to go whale watching, you better do it because it's awesome. Totally awesome and amazing experience. You're right, Jesse. And if you are in town for the 2010 Games, please check out the folks here at Great Pacific Adventures. They will show you an amazing, amazing tour. That's right. And if you want to check out AP's full Winter Games coverage, check it out at wintergames.ap.org.